Hi guys. Um, so today I wanted to do a vlog, and I know my camera is like really, really super bad, but I'm on my laptop, um, and I wanted to do another vlog. This one is probably the most serious one. Uh, I know I had bad news about my cancer spreaded um, to my bone marrow, which um, yes, we still haven't done any treatment, but. My actual bone marrow that I did, like the bone marrow test, um, the final results came back, and I also have pre-leukemia in my bone marrow. So basically, right now, I have two types of cancer in my body. Um, the pre-leukemia is not fully developed, but it's pre-leukemia, which means eventually it will be leukemia. And there's nothing really out there that treats both types of cancers. They're both very, very serious and very, very aggressive cancers, and they spread very quickly, and they're both very, very deadly. Um, now we'll put it that way, and I'm being straight up about that. And I've been doing this crap for over five years, and I'm also almost 13, so my doctors and my parents are very open about these types of things, and I'm a very strong person when it comes to dealing with what I'm being told and taking it in very easily but basically there's not really a lot of options for treatment anymore so the thing that they want to do right now is a bone marrow transplant and that is going to be one of the toughest things that I'm going to have to do ever because I've done stem cell I've done surgery I'm going to show you guys my scar right now so hopefully you can see it. It goes from here to here. And it's very faint now because it was done a long time ago, but um, I've done that. I've had so many surgeries, it's crazy. So they said this is going to be the toughest thing I'm going to do if I do it. So since I'm almost 13, they're giving me a lot of input on it. So basically, I have all the input. I'm going to decide whether or not I want to do stem, I want to do the bone marrow transplant, or whether or not I just want to don't do it and just live the time that I have remaining. So, um, that's basically it. I know it's kind of like a lot to take in. But right now where I'm leaning to is not doing it because I really just don't want to go through that. I just don't want to go through it through with it because the chances of surviving are fewer than than surviving. So yeah, and also if I if we even find a match for my bone marrow, if my body rejects it, then I'm screwed. I mean, then I went through all that crap for nothing, and then I, yeah. So, I'm, everyone asks me if I'm scared. I'm definitely scared, but I also know that I'm, right now I'm on a low dose chemo, which hopefully it, it's supposed to help neuroblastoma and leukemia, so it'll keep me stable and it's low dose, so it's not going to knock it all out, but it's going to keep me stable for a little bit, and the doctor said if we didn't go through with it, they said four months to a year, and if you're younger than 12, I don't know if you would comprehend what I'm saying, but yeah, that is basically my vlog. I know I kind of sound like, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to explain, so yeah. But I'm going to continue doing videos as long as I can, and I just wanted you guys to know that because I really, really want the whole world to know what's going on with me and it's not really going to be a secret 
and I really, really, really love, love doing YouTube, and you guys are freaking amazing, like, I really, really hope that you guys are just, just don't freak out, <laughs> is what I tell a lot of my friends, it's, it's not like I'm, it's gonna be tomorrow, it's just, yeah, it's just a quality of life, and it's not, nothing's for sure, we still don't know if there's any other options besides this huge transplant thing, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, not really wanting to do the transplant, but I'm also going to put um, one of my Facebook statuses that I posted, the exact words um, in the description if you want to see that. I updated it yesterday, which is when I got the news. Um, so yeah, and also, pre having leukemia and neuroblastoma at the same time is extremely rare. Um, not a lot of people have had that. A lot of times leukemia comes after you've done a lot of treatment because leukemia can be caused by a lot of chemo, a lot of radiation is what I had, what I have had um, over the five, over the past five freaking years. Um, so obviously it's not, it, it wasn't really something to think about for me. It was just, this is not fair to me anymore. I'm only 13. I shouldn't really have to be doing this. No one should have to do this. Not even adults. And it's really not fair for kids to have cancer. And it really freaking sucks. It sucks freaking so badly. And it's, it's to go through another transplant that's supposed to be worse than the last one I did. And the last one I did was just freaking not doing that again. No, I would never even think about doing that again. I've lived the, I said in my Facebook status that having cancer has been a gift, yet a horrible, horrible, terrifying thing. But I've gotten so many benefits from it and so many cons from it. Having a YouTube channel and having to inspire people and having people look up to me and explaining to you guys how I adore and love makeup to use, using it as my wig and not and having so much self-confidence to go out into the grocery store without a wig. It's just, it's, it's amazing, but like I said, what I said was in my status is the journey of having cancer was amazing, but every journey has an end. So I really, really, really hope you guys like understand what I'm saying and understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'm, I'll continue making videos, um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. My birthday is on the 18th. We're having a huge party. I'm going to vlog it, hopefully. Um, and, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So, bye.